California's budget has surged to a record high. Today, Governor Jerry Brown made a stop here in San Diego where he promoted his budget proposal, and it includes billions of dollars in new spending. Attendance reporter Steve Fiorina is joining us live now with a look at who will benefit the most from this. Steve. Steve, it's our schools like Gomper and the others. But the governor wants to spread around the wealth as well. Plus, he wants to set up a rainy day fund. Governor Jerry Brown strode into the City Hall briefing room with charts and graphs and a plan he calls a prudent budget in light of a state economy that's dramatically improving. Now, some people would say, let's go on a spending binge. But I say it's time uh, for wisdom and prudence. Pay down our debt, put it in a rainy day fund, and be prepared for the next downturn. Governor Brown wants to pay down the $11 billion debt to school districts and local governments, part of what he calls the wall of debt totaling $25 billion. Most of what you see on this chart for the last 10 years is red ink, deficit, borrowing, gimmicks, smoke and mirrors, accounting maneuvers. That's what I want to stop. A budget being well received by educators. I think it's a smart budget and I think that uh, paying down the deferrals, this wall of debt, particularly to our school districts, which has crippled our school districts over the recent years, is very important. In-home caregivers and their clients aren't happy, though, and several converged on the City Hall lobby. Suzette Bradshaw needs round-the-clock care. Her dad told 10 News the governor's plan will hurt their family. Less services for Suzette. In-home supportive services just don't work 40 hours a week. Uh, they work seven days a week. We are, we've already endured an 8% cut, and now he's trying to cut the overtime pay. Meaning they have to find additional help, which includes an emotional cost. So if we're going to get some other, you know, strangers coming to my house, they're not feel comfortable for that. Governor's budget getting mixed reviews, as you might expect, including within the, the mind of one single county board member, the chair. We'll hear from her at 7. Live in uh, Choice Park, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.